So, I was recording a match for my Bamboozler ad a couple of weeks ago, and had this particular match. And I thought about it a little bit, and I was like, you know what? We gotta share this with the masses. So, this is, starts as a pretty normal game, right? You got a nice team here, you got me playing some lovely bamboo. The gameplay is, is about what you'll expect, but <laughs> what's gonna happen in about a minute is just great. So I'm out here doing my normal thing, right? You know, ba 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 ba, bamboo, one of the fastest rainmaker poppers, yada 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 yada, doing my thing. You know, I can keep everything pretty safe with my bamboo, I don't have to go nearby, I just gotta keep everybody back. And then you start having all this happen. We've, we've got a pretty good start to the game here. We've got a good amount of turf coverage. The enemy team is down. So I'm like, you know what? You know what? You know what? I'm gonna grab the Rainmaker because I don't really have my special and I can push up for my teammates. So I'm doing that, right? Doing the normal Piranha Pit thing. Maybe I moved in a, maybe I moved in a little too fast, honestly. But, you know, I, I'm here. I did it. But then you get this. <laughs> the connection is unstable. And I'm like, oh, well. It looks like almost everybody disconnected, and in this case, usually that means it's my internet, and it usually means I'm gonna disconnect next, right? And I can see I've got I've got one teammate left, and this enemy guy. My teammate gone, but that Hydra, he's, he's not very gone. You, you can very much see he's definitely still playing the game. <laughs> Boy hasn't stopped. So that means that now, for the next four minutes, we're gonna have to sit through what is essentially a one v one between me and the Hydra. And now logic speaks that usually the longer range player wins, so I know what I gotta do is like actually get rid of the guy and not trade with him like that. So now I gotta respawn and try again. The main advantage that I have in this <laughs> stupid fight is that I'm faster than him. Like Hydra doesn't have much movement and I can definitely paint the map better than him too in my opinion. So. In order to win a 1v1 Rainmaker, as a lot of people know, because I know we've got a whole bunch of people here who love to actually play 1v1s, is you need to be able to make the biggest, longest push. And the way you're gonna make that big, long push is you gotta get them before they get you. So I'm hanging out behind this block and I'm like, ugh, oh, I can't actually get bopped by him, so I don't. And we're going, we're going, we're good, we're going, we're good. It's very easy for me to get over here, I'm gonna take the short path, because as long as he doesn't respawn, I can get really close to this guy, and I'm, you know, I'm trying to do my thing. But, you know, the magic of uh, the Hydra splatting there, not gonna let me actually get up onto that thing, and I've got a nice one push. So, at this point, now you know what's going through both of our minds, right? If this guy wants to win, he's gonna have to get me, and he's going to have to get the knockout. So all I gotta do is keep him from getting the knockout. And, like, this shouldn't even be happening, you know? This is, <laughs> this is solo queue. This is just your normal match gone wrong. Like, no matter who loses here, I, I believe no one's losing points. Because we literally have two teams full of disconnects. But I don't think either of us really wanted to be here. All I know is <laughs> I shouldn't really be where I am anymore. So I hop out, because I can't really let this go down. And we both know this. He's got about, like, 30 seconds left. So all I gotta do is stall him. And I'm like, yeah, I, I could stall him. I could totally do that with these bubbles. And he's, he's scared, because he knows if he gets bopped, I can just take that Rainmaker, like, halfway across the map again. So I'm just gonna hold him off. He knows what he can do. I know what I can do. All I gotta do is keep him from getting to the podium. Because I, I can tell you, if he gets to that podium, my Bamboozler cannot do what his Hydra can do. Ba-boom. <laughs> A little suspense for you there. But yeah, I, uh, I knew that it was gonna be okay, because he had no more time left on his timer there. So that was easy peasy. So now you got the Rainmaker again, and I've got two choices. Number one, I could pop the Rainmaker and take it with me, or number two, I could just, you know, paint the whole map and keep the Rainmaker for myself. This is kind of how this starts here, until I realize it's probably actually a really bad idea, because it's Hydra? Boy, is hungry, so we're just gonna blow a little bit of time and get back to the shield here. I don't really know why <laughs> I thought the jumping off was gonna work here, but I, I think in retrospect, the idea probably was to stop him as he grabbed the Rainmaker, because it worked out. I, I made this poor guy come all the way across the map again just to pop the shield and then go away. But of course, he, he did pop the shield, so it is going to reset, so we're going to have to actually stay in the middle of the map here. But I do have the ability to pop it faster than him, as I mentioned at the start. So we just got to paint the whole map and keep on waiting. Because remember, this has been going on for like three minutes at this point. This poor Hydra, and I guess me too, have just been sitting here, hoping it all works out. <laughs> and I take care of him again. So at this point, you gotta realize, this guy's only got about, I don't know man, like one more chance. I take a picture of the game because I'm like, this is stupid. And I'm gonna share it on Twitter. And, and spoiler alert, 
I don't share it on Twitter. <laughs> this doesn't even go in the ad in the end. I was gonna make a funny about it, but it just never really worked out. But I wanted to share this match, because, jeez. <laughs> so this guy is all the way on the right here, and he's gonna go for it. And now, here's the thing. Once we hit overtime here, he's, he's gotta make the push, or else he loses the game. So I'm gonna be a big threat. I'm just gonna go right for the bubble. I don't wanna even give him the time. I don't wanna let him have any chance of getting over to this Rainmaker podium. I just want this game to end. And I think, honestly, at this point, <laughs> I, I think that he probably just wanted the game to end too. So, uh, that's that. You just experienced what I experienced, which was a beautiful, very somehow tied, beautiful <laughs> 1v1 Rainmaker in solo queue. Thank you for watching. Splatoon 2 never stops impressing me with just, you know, just what, just what can happen. Thank you for watching, and maybe someday you'll see something like this too?